What's up everyone, my name is Roshni and this is my channel Betty Grew Up where I talk about how to take back control of your mental health and this is my first camping trip of the season. I think nature is so important when it comes to connecting with yourself and lowering your anxiety so I wanted to take you all along with me. When we got to the campsite, it was about 6.30, so we had to start setting up camp really quickly before the sun went down. And as we were driving in, we found out that there was a fire ban recently put up on the area. So we had checked about a week before, and it said everything would be fine, but I guess in the last week it had gotten really dry. So unfortunately, we weren't able to have a campfire for the entire trip. Um, and I was sad because I was really looking forward to it, but honestly, it didn't make that big of a difference, and I felt actually a lot less gross by the end of the trip because I wasn't covered in like smoke and stuff from the fire. Because it was so late, we had a quick dinner with everyone there, did a little bit of exploring around the campsite, and just headed to bed. Good morning, it is Saturday, I had a, such a good night's sleep, and in the tent we have an air mattress and like four different sleeping bags, a couple of pillows, and then the suitcases with all of the clothes. So. Um, it is it was super comfy super warm. It didn't actually get too cold last night and even without the fire it was great breakfast and coffee we went to this really cool spot that we found at the river that we've never been to before so if you walk through the shallow part you can basically stand on the rocks in the middle and feel the current going by we saw lots of people tubing around and it was super fun and then after this we actually went on a pretty long hike but unfortunately I could not tape it because it was basically us climbing straight up a mountain and I mean literally climbing so I needed to use my hands for a lot of it and I couldn't film so I'm sorry about that but it was a great day One of the reasons that I love camping is because you really start to get grateful for the simple things that you're used to every single day. So making coffee and washing dishes all take on a completely new experience and you can't do them on autopilot anymore. So it's a great way to feel like you're traveling and going on an adventure and slowing down time even when you're in your own backyard. Drop it. 
so we are packing up and we are about to head out but it was such an amazing trip and every time i come camping i almost underestimate how it's gonna be and then i realized that the biggest impact is just being outside that itself is so anxiety reducing and somehow especially because lately i've been really struggling with making sure that i'm being productive enough and you know working from home and being an entrepreneur and working for yourself you can kind of get carried away and feel like any time that you're not working is time being wasted and so lately i've had a struggle with you know making sure that i'm balancing being productive enough and getting my work done but also not mistreating myself and leading myself into a burnout phase and so being outside and just spending these three or four days kind of working extra for the simple things like cooking and washing dishes and realize that you know just living life is an activity and it's a worthy on its own and it, it's just such a good break and a good detox because i stay off technology and you know i'm really just connected and living in the moment and it makes me realize how much life is just in the present moment that's what life is and it's really beautiful to be reminded of that so i really really encourage you even if you don't want to spend four days out in the woods to just go on hikes or start spending more time at parks and just find little ways to get yourself outside because it really does help you connect to the present moment um, it helps you be mindful and it helps you de-stress so try it officially on our way home. It was such a great trip. We even ended up staying an extra day because we were having so much fun. But on that last day, I did have a bit of an anxiety attack and I'm not sure what brought it on, but I was able to just experience it, feel the stress and kind of talk myself out of it. And I just wanted to say that because I have a mental health channel on YouTube and just because I'm a life coach doesn't mean that my life is perfect and it doesn't mean that I never have anxiety or panic attacks, but it does mean that you really can reorient your thoughts so that instead of feeling anxious you can take note of how you feel take a step back de-escalate the emotions and start feeling how you want to feel um, and so that's something that i'm really passionate about because anxiety is such a beast to tackle On our way home, before we even get home, we just take the dog to the dog wash, which is actually attached to a car wash. And this one actually comes with a flea spray as well, so it's great to take her and just take care of all of that, and that way she's not getting a house all muddy and dirty, and we can just go home and take a shower and relax. Thank you all so, so much for watching. You can follow me here, and I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.